another diesel rail car simulator video so hot on the trail of the first look that I put on the feed yesterday uh, I thought we'd come back and uh, as we ran a DMU last time I thought we'd come out and uh, do a bit of thrash in one of the other locals that's available uh, this time we'll do the class 40 so we've seen the class 40 before haven't we on TSW uh, notably on the Northern Trans Pennine, so we're going to jump into it in Diesel Rail Course Simulator as well. And I thought we'd go into the Mountain Pass map for this video. The timetable's from 1967. And I think what we'll do is we'll do the 1017 Express Up 1, and that is a class 47 cars. You can see it on the map there where we're going from. So it's express, it's all the way through. And uh, let's get into it. You can see there we're passing Little Bartby, Colnhurston, Pollock's Hillbrook, which is the summit, Lytton, Kings Waldicott, and then we arrive at Portal 1. So one thing I didn't show you last night actually is down here at the bottom, you can set the weather to be cloudy, sunny. Shall we go for sun? Why not? Right, let's get into it. So last night with the DMU you saw we had gears to work out etc etc. Uh, this is much easier to drive as you will see. But uh, let's let the scenery load in. It will start already running as you'll find out. There we go. So we're already underway right now. Uh, we have got a 40 speed limit so let me close the throttle down because we're already speeding. So yeah this is the class 40 uh, and I still need to slow down. That's better. We'll take a look outside shall we. If we go to the uh, camera views let's have a look at the uh, line side observer. This is the one we looked at last night which is quite nice. And uh, we can do the horn. That's good going round there, doesn't it? Let's quickly go back to the cab. Let's make sure we're doing the target speed. Speed is 36, target 40. So we're pretty good. And uh, we've got a 50 coming up. And we're due to pass Little Bartby in around three minutes time. So even on this map, the scenery is quite good. It's a nice little, little scenic map. There's several maps available and uh, last night what I did was as well, I went into the Steam Workshop, I did mention it in the last video, went into the Steam Workshop, I got the Wherry Lines, somebody's created the Wherry Lines, somebody's created the Cumbrian Course Route as well, so I got hold of both of those. What I also did as well, I got some liveries for the Class 37 and the Class 40, and uh, I just need to work out how to use those, I think I may need to go into the locomotive screen to use those, but I got various rail freight liveries, a couple of regional railways ones that were in there. Uh, so I'm looking forward to running those across the maps. We're in a 50 zone right now. Let's have another look outside, shall we? Let's have a look at the bogey angle as we go around this bend. That's a very good shot, that. I do like that shot. Let's see what else we've got. Uh, we got the helicopter view, which we are used to. Which follows the train around from the side. Uh, we've also got... Uh, oh. Let's 
let's just sound the horn as we go through the station because we're only passing remember we need to put a bit of brake in actually there we go let's release the brakes again uh, let's go back to the views we have got number two cab which is just just behind at the back got the second man's seat as well put some speed back in second man's seat what else have we got we have got a free a free roam as well which kind of uh, puts us outside like this and uh, with this this is what I was looking for last night so I can go and hide sort of up here and to the side And as we come through, oh look at that! We got photo bombed by 37 going the other way. <laughs> Excellent. Right, did I get the emergency brake? You know what? Oh, we did okay. We did all right. So holding down space is the AWS, but I missed that alarm because we were outside. Um, I'm going to take off the throttle. We've got a 40 coming up, we're actually doing 39 already, so we're not too bad. So yeah, this service, 22, 22 minutes long on this map. We'll spend some time in the cab, I think. When's that 40 coming up? It's not just yet. Uh, but if you want to look around the cab, as I said last night, you can also operate um, a lot of the controls with the mouse as well. And uh, let me take that throttle off for this 40. Uh, yeah, there's uh, local brake, train brake is over this side. Um, none of these switches you can operate. Um, but the uh, accelerator and putting it, you know, the reverser, putting it forwards, neutral, reverse, etc., is, uh, is all there. If you prefer to, to do it that way rather than keys. So we've got a red signal after this. It's a sound the horn in the station. Ah, we've got the green. Okay, so we can release the brakes now. So we're due to depart here at 10.25 but we're a little bit early, which is quite nice. Let's give it some thrash. Yeah, so this is Mountain Pass. Aptly named for the mountains we've got there in the, uh, in the background. This looks quite nice. Let's close the throttle because we're speeding a little bit. We do have a 40 coming up right now. So once the back of the train clears it, we'll be up to 40. There we go. Let's speed up. We've got a 40, a 50, a 60. And we're due, we're going uphill now to the summit of the Pollock's Hill Brook. And we're due past there at 10.30, but we're actually running a little bit early. So, hope you guys enjoyed yesterday's first look. It was a bit of an adventure, wasn't it? <laughs> I did watch it back afterwards. Uh, just to see how much time I spent working out what was wrong with it. Um, but we got there in the end, I'm pleased to say. And that is the AWS. So that's reset. Um, driving these these big diesels um, is obviously much easier than the DMUs. But the DMUs are very interesting. It gives you a lot to do as well. I would definitely recommend using the DMU. There's so many services as well for the DMU. 
but today's service is the express with the big diesel there is the green signal shortly we can go up to a 60 so we will give it the beans you can see down on the right hand side the on the sort of mini map that uh, the summit is approaching And this class 40 is a, a big beast. I don't think we're gonna. Uh, I don't think we're gonna struggle in this going up the summit. So let's drop the throttle. Our target speed is uh, 33 because we're coming down to this this 25, so we're way over speed. Let's just get that down as best we can. We're going to lose lots of points for that, of course. Let's release the brake with E. I'm still getting used to these keys. There's a lot of keys to uh, to get used to. We came to a complete stop there. <laughs> the brakes are good on the class 40. But we're underway. We're early anyway. Uh, we're only meant to come through here, as I said, at 10.30. And it's only 10.26, nearly 10.27. So we're really early. Just give a horn as we go across the crossing there. Just drop the throttle, we do have a 40 coming up. So I've played quite a few services, and as I said last night, I'm actually really quite enjoying it. Um, it's different. It's different and uh, it looks simple but you know what there's a lot to do there's a lot to keep your eye on if you want to uh, do it for the points and get better it is tricky you know it, it involves quite a lot of skill it's not just about driving along and getting from one into another it's teaching you quite a lot about sticking to speed limits being on time running an efficient service Especially in the DMUs with the with the gearing and the constant stop starting. So you know there's a lot to be done in this game, and it's a completely different feel to TSW and to TSC if you do play one or more of those. So you know don't worry if you're thinking of picking it up. Don't worry that it's going to be a repeat of those two. It doesn't. It offers a, a little bit more than that. And like I said, you can get on the Steam Workshop, you can download additional maps that the community have created. And actually, one thing I didn't mention is that you can also add to your local library as well. Because I did see somebody's created a Class 31 on there, they've created different uh, DMUs. Um, yeah, it's all on there, you can go and check that out. You can of course have a look at the Workshop before you decide to buy it and see what's on there. Putting some brake in because we are speeding. Uh, this being a this being a mountain route with a big summit, it has uh, quite a bit of, of up and down to get used to. So the speed, as you've seen, is constantly changing. So that's where that skill comes back in again. And we'll release the brakes now. We are due to pass Lytton at 10:34, which is in uh, four and a half minutes time. So the brakes are all the way off. The signal's just gone green. And there is the AWS telling us that the signal is green. Got a 50 coming up. Let's
let's go to the view at the other end, shall we? You can look inside the coaches. There's quite a nice first class coach there. Quite nicely modelled, isn't it? With the old uh, heaters underneath. Uh, what else have we got at the back? We've got the helicopter at the back so we can follow the rear of the train. There it is, going around the corner. Line side observer from the rear. That's quite a nice shot. First class there at the back. And then if we go back to the other end, we can go back up up front to the cab. So Right, Lytton is coming up just outside this tunnel after the signal. We've got the green. bit of braking. Let's uh, let everyone know we're coming through. So still three minutes early, three or so minutes. Let's open it up. Here she comes. Sound the horn. Lovely. So, our next passing point is King's Waldecott. And that's at 10.37. Get the speed down a little bit. Now, I am due to uh, pick up an Xbox controller for the PC next week so what I will do is plug that in get that configured and uh, we'll see if that makes any difference to uh, to the way I play it because being on a controller with TSW for so long on console that might help me uh, be slightly better at this <laughs> I'm doing all right but you know um, it, it might be slightly better, so I don't. I've, I've, I did look around to see if anybody was playing on controller. Nobody's actually said the videos that I found. Nobody had said whether they were playing on controller, so I'm interested to test that out. So I will do so uh, at some point next week. Uh, we can speed up. We've got 50. There's Kings Waldecott just appearing on the minimap on the right hand side. Close the throttle before we reach the 50. Don't think you can open the windows either. Doesn't appear so. I know that the points for this run are going to be terrible by the time we get to the end. We're, miss we're missing the target speed every single time in this run. But it's very enjoyable. I'm quite uh, quite enjoying it. This is King's Waldecott. passing through and what are we we're still two and a half minutes two and a half minutes early yep two minutes early it's just come up down there on the right and then finally we will pass portal one which is where the service will end so we start out of the portal 
and uh, on this particular one we got into the portal at the other end so we are quite quickly approaching that and we'll check the points out we'll see how badly we did So we've still got to cover, after this we've got the 37 of course and we've got the 03 out of the uh, the low course that we've got in the game. So we'll take a look at those at some point. And uh, we've got a whole host of uh, DMUs as you saw in the in the first look video. So uh, we'll come back and do those, there's hundreds of services so it's going to keep us busy for a while. I'm going to try and play a little bit of this offline so that I can get slightly better. <laughs> It's difficult for me to try to talk to you and concentrate on everything that's going on. That's how much is going on at the moment. Uh, but it's all good fun. Release the brake. We're going to hit the portal at some point, any time now, and it will end the service. I don't know exactly, exactly where. So there are freight runs, uh, loaded freight, empty freight, express passenger, stopping passenger, there's the DMU services, the commuting services, there's, there's all sorts, there's a lot to do. That is our arrival at the portal, let's press escape and then we'll have a look at what we did. We got 3,107, oh dear me, look at all these minuses. Oh, we did get an emergency brake. I didn't notice that. I thought we caught that. Speed limit exceed 36 times. You see, that's the kind of thing that me, I've got to look at this now and I've got to work on that because, uh, you know, we had a lot of that in the first look video. And obviously this, this actual summary that you get is good. It helps you concentrate on being a better driver and, and makes you focus on what it is you need to, you need to do to get better. Unsafe driving considerably exceeded the target speed. That's fair enough. Yeah, I'll take that. I think that was that was correct. So there we go. That was our express up service on the mountain pass in the class 40. Hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, it's 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 a good little game. It is it is. And as I said, it's in early access. It's available on Steam. Um, I have no doubt at all that. Um, there's a lot more coming to the game as well. Uh, the devs are very good. The devs are very engaging. I've been speaking to them uh, backwards and forwards about the game over the last couple of days. So a big thanks to them as well for the information they've been giving me. And uh, yeah, hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.